I'm here at the Kunming South Railway Station, the departure station of the China Laos Railway. Today, the long awaited cross border passenger service is finally launched, and we're going to take the very first train bent for Lao capital Vientiane to find out more about the MAGA project. Let's go. This 1,000 plus kilometer international railway went into service in December 2021. It's a landmark project under the Belt and Road Initiative. But due to the pandemic, only the cross-border cargo service has been available since then. So this is really a historic moment. I'm very excited. We even received flowers and small gifts from the train staff. I've been looking forward to visiting Laos, and I'm happy to take this opportunity to make it come true. I participated in the construction of the section between Luan Prabang and Van Vien in Laos. Today I'll bring my wife to where I used to work. I feel excited and proud. There will be two trains running in opposite directions each day departing from Kunming and Vientiane, respectively. They will stop at eight stations along the way. The whole journey is expected to take 10.5 hours, including time for customs clearance. And the ticket fares range between about 80 to 125 US dollars. Multi-language service is available on the train, and socket outlets in line with both Chinese and Lao standards are also prepared at each set of seats. Take a look. Official data shows that so far, the rail has transported some 18 million tons of goods, among which 3.6 million tons are cross-border cargo. Many believe that with the full connectivity of the railway, cross-border tourism and people-to-people -people exchanges between China and Laos, and even the whole Southeast Asia, will prosper. Yang Jinghao, CGTN, Yunnan Province.